All right, class, welcome back. We are still talking about our Native Americans, and today we're talking about the Cherokee tribe. And the Cherokee tribe was mostly in the, in the southeast uh, of America. Uh, one of them was North Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee, Alabama. Uh, I might have missed one of them, but it, it, it was in that area. Uh, and we're going we'll to talk a little bit about their culture, what they did, how they did it, and the Trail of Tears today. And uh, you'll see the Trail of Tears was an awful time in American history. It was a very dark, dark period for a dark stain on on the uh, American history. Uh, and uh, that's what we're going to talk about today. So, uh, and we'll talk about more about the Trail of Tears when we talk about westward expansion later on in the year. So, but uh, that's what we're talking about, Cherokee tribe. And Cherokee Indians are a Native American tribe. They're the largest tribe in the United States. And the name Cherokee comes from the Muscogean word that means speakers of another language. And they call themselves the the principal people in their native language. Cherokee tribe. The Cherokee Indians are a Native American tribe. They're the largest tribe in the United States. The name Cherokee comes from a Muscogean word that means speakers of another language. The Cherokee called themselves the principal people in their native language. All right, so before the Europeans arrived, the Cherokee lived in the area of the southeastern United States, like I said earlier, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, and Tennessee. And the, uh, they lived in Waddle and Dob home. This is what a Waddle and Dob home looked like. They were framed with tree logs and then covered with mud and grass to fill in the walls and the roof were made of thatch or bark. Where did the Cherokee live? Before the Europeans arrived, the Cherokee lived in the area of the southeastern United States, which is today the states of North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, and Tennessee. The Cherokee lived in wattle and daub homes. These homes were framed with tree logs and then covered with mud and grass to fill in the walls. The roots were made of thatch or bark. All right, and uh, so what did they eat? Like a lot of them, they farmed. Uh, like a lot of Native American, they farmed the vegetables such as corn. Corn was a major thing with the Native Americans, the squash, beans, uh, and all the squash and beans also was a major, major uh, crop with the Native Americans. They also hunted animals. They hunted deer, they hunted rabbits, turkey, even bears, and they cooked a variety of foods, and stews, cornbread. What did they eat? The Cherokee lived off the combination of farming, hunting, and gathering. They farmed vegetables such as corn, squash, and beans. They also hunted animals such as deer, rabbits, turkeys, and even bears. They cooked a variety of foods, including stews and cornbread. All right, so how did they travel? Before the Europeans came and they brought horses because there were no horses in, in the New World prior to the Europeans coming. So they traveled by foot or by canoe and uh, they would they would use trails, they'd use rivers. They made these canoes out of hollowed out logs. How did they travel? Before the Europeans came and brought horses, the Cherokee traveled by foot or by canoe. They used trails and rivers to travel between villages. They made canoes by hollowing out large tree, tree logs. All right, and uh, they had several different religious ceremonies. Uh, they were religious people. They believed in spirits. They uh, performed ceremonies in order to ask these spirits to help them. They would have these special ceremonies before they went into battle, before they left for a hunt. And when they were trying to heal sick people and they would dress up, they would dance. And the largest of their celebration was called the green corn ceremony, which it gave thanks to spirits for their harvest of corn. Like I said, corn was a very important crop with all Native Americans, not just the, the Cherokee tribe. Religion and ceremonies. <laughs> the Cherokee were religious people who believed in spirits. They performed ceremonies in order to ask the spirits to help them. They would have special ceremonies before going to battle, leaving on a hunt, and when trying to heal sick people. They would often dress up and dance to music during the ceremony. The largest of their celebrations was called the Green Corn Ceremony, which thanked the spirits for their harvest of corn. All right, so a typical Cherokee village would be home to around 30 to 50 families. Uh, this is what it may have looked like then, because like I said, they had the Waddle and Dob homes. And uh, 
these would be part of a larger Cherokee clan, such as the Wolf Clan or the Bird Clan. And the women, the women of the village were responsible for the house, for farming and family, and the men were, were responsible for hunting and war. Cherokee Society. A typical Cherokee village would be home to around 30 to 50 families. They would be a part of larger Cherokee clans, such as the Wolf Clan or the Bird Clan. The women were responsible for house, for the house, farming, and family. The men were, were responsible for hunting and war. So, uh, Cherokee and the Europeans. So, living in the East, Cherokee had early contact with the American colonists, very early contact. They made a lot of treaties with the colonists over the years, and they also fought alongside the French in the French and Indian War, which we talked about when we talked about the, the uh, colonial period. So uh, in 1754 against the British, and when the British won, they lost, the Cherokee lost some of their land, and then they sided during the American Revolution, they sided with Britain again, and well, they sided with the French, in the French and Indian War, but they sided with Britain in, in that war in the American Revolution and they lost more land. The Cherokee and the Europeans. Living in the East, the Cherokee had early contact with American colonists. They made many treaties with the colonists over the years. They also fought alongside the French in the French and Indian War in, 15, in 1754 against the British. When the British won the war, the Cherokee lost some of their land. They again lost more of their land to the United States when they sided with the British in the American Revolutionary War. All right. The, the Trail of Tears. This is the dark part of history, uh, of American history, one of the really dark parts of American history that, that is very sad. All right. In 1835, the Cherokee signed, Andrew Jackson was president, and they signed a treaty with the United States, and it gave the U.S. all of the Cherokee land in return for some land in Oklahoma plus $5 million. So uh, Cherokee didn't really want to do this. I mean, you know, nobody wants to uproot and leave their house and leave their home behind, you know. But in 1838, the U.S. Army, they forced the Cherokee to move from their homes to the southeast all the way to the state of Oklahoma. And during this time, you know, they just kind of forced them. And, and it was during, it was, it was a rough time. It was during cold winter months. And so there's about 4,000 Cherokee people that died on the march to Oklahoma. And today it's called the Trail of Tears. It was a very sad time indeed in American history. It's a very dark, very dark time. Trail of Tears. In 1835, some of the Cherokee signed a treaty with the United States giving the U.S. all of the Cherokee land in return for the land in Oklahoma, plus five million. Most of the Cherokee did not want to do this, but they had no choice. In 1838, the U.S. Army forced the Cherokee Nation to move from their homes in the southeast all the way to the state of Oklahoma. Over 4,000 Cherokee people died on the march to Oklahoma. Today, this forced march is called the Trail of Tears. And we'll talk more about the Trail of Tears when we get into westward expansion. We're going to talk about Andrew Jackson. Uh, all right. Comprehension questions. What kind of houses did the Cherokee live in? Was it A, a cottage, B, a wattle and daub home, or C, a townhouse? It was B, a wattle and daub home. It was mud, m mostly made of mud walls were, and then you had thatch or bark for the roof. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Number two, what was a major crop the Cherokee ate? A, corn, B, bananas, or C, cotton? It is corn. Like most Native Americans, they ate corn. They grew corn. Corn, corn was a major crop, but they used it for all kinds of things. They used the entire piece of corn. They didn't just eat the corn off of it. They used a the husk. They used uh, several different ways. They, they ground it up into flour. They used it for everything. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Number three, how many families would typically live in a Cherokee village? A, one, B, 30 to 50, or C, 200? It was B, 30 to 50 would typically live in a Cherokee village. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. 30 to 50 families. Number four, who did the Cherokee fight with during the French and Indian War? A, they fought with A, the Americans, B, the Spanish, or C, the French. They sided with the French during the French and Indian War. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. 
I sided with the French. And when, when, when they lost that war, they lost some land to Britain then. And then they also fought, sided with Britain in the American Revolution, and they lost more land to the to the America to to America whenever they did that. So, number five, what was the march called that forced the Cherokee to move to Oklahoma? A, the Trail of Tears. B, the Appalachian Trail. Or C, marching band. It was A, the Trail of Tears. It was a very dark stain on American history when this happened. Ding ding ding! We have a winner. All right, folks, this is uh, that's all for today. Uh, we'll be back next time with more Native American. Uh, I think well, I've got the Iroquois next and then the Navajo uh, tribes. So uh, just be sure you go on Schoology, you turn this in, you get credit for it, and I will see you next time.